Und damit wieder ein herzliches Willkommen zurück. Wir sind mit der Nebenmission durch. Die Hauptmission steht noch aus und ihr wisst Bescheid, dass wir heute den großen Supportpartner wieder haben, der typischerweise so ansteht. Ich muss mal gucken, inwiefern wir heute noch A-Supports dazu packen. Es gibt jedenfalls zahlreiche neue Supports und ich bin ganz froh darüber. Wer darf den Beginn machen? Ich arbeite mich mal wieder von unten nach oben. Okay. Das wäre jetzt Shamir und Harpy in dem Fall. Auch eine interessante Kombination. Legen wir los. Oh, it's Shammy. Shammy. Harpy muss immer allen Spitznamen geben. Ist auch so eine Eigenheit von ihr. <lacht> ah, Happy. Strange. I didn't take you for the praying type. Good. I'm not. Thought so. Then what are you doing here? Just looking for some peace and quiet. This place seemed like the best option. Got it. Should I leave you be then? You're fine. I've had enough silence anyway. You don't strike me as the praying type either. What brings you here? Eh, same reason as you, I guess. I just wanted some more quiet. But I don't mind if you're here, Shammy. All right. Mind if I ask you something then? You just did. <laughs> Kidding. Go for it. It just occurred to me, but... You used to live in Abyss, right? Under Garrick Mock? Did you ever see a pagan altar or statue down there? Ah, you mean that big hunk of metal with the giant wings? Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. Hold on, you know about Abyss? Did you go down there when you were a knight? No, before that. Have you heard of the Dagda and Bridget War? After my side lost to the Empire, I was stranded in Fodlan. Somehow I wound up in Abyss. Soon after I started living there, I ran into trouble with someone from the church. Fortunately, Rhea noticed me, and I got hired by the Knights of Saros. Hmm, let me guess. You got into it with Elfie, didn't you? Elfie? The name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Interesting. Anyway, sorry. I kind of interrupted you there. Don't worry about it. So, that pagan statue, it's actually of a Dagdan deity. No kidding. You're from Dagda, right? Yes. I think it was the God of Fate. I always wondered how it ended up there. No clue. It's probably been there forever. You know, I remember there was this one foreigner who prayed to it all the time. Like, really prayed. She must have been from Dagda too. Most likely. It will have to remain a mystery for now. Thanks, Happy. Is there anything you want to ask me? What? Really? Hmm, let's see. Oh, sehr gut. Das war doch ein schöner Support, würde ich sagen. Sehr interessant mit dieser Gottheit aus Dagda. Wenn man da noch ein bisschen mehr erfährt. Ich meine, einen Support haben sie ja noch zusammen. Vielleicht kommt da noch was Spannendes zutage. Nicht schlecht jedenfalls, nicht schlecht. Ah ja, wir können mit ihr auch den Support eigentlich gleich machen. Ist ganz gut, dass wir ein bisschen Shamir diesmal sehen. Hat ja auch nicht so super viele Supports, was? Ja, es hält sich in Grenzen. Mit Baltos hat sie noch Supports. Catherine dann natürlich einen Support, klar. Aber ich kann mir schon vorstellen, warum das so ist. Also, rein Spekulation mal wieder. Ich meine, ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass es für die Kirche so schön ist, wenn da andere Gottheiten angebetet werden. Also, landet es halt unten im Abyssus, schön verschollen. Damit da niemand so einfach drankommt, wäre jetzt meine Vermutung. Das könnte ein logischer Hintergrund dafür sein. Da halt einfach entsprechend weggesperrt, dass da möglichst niemand äh, sieht, dass es da auch noch andere Glaubensrichtungen gibt. Naja, gut. Machen wir weiter mit dem Support mit Chess. I should call it a day. You sticking around? Nah, I should finish up too. Thanks, Shamir. I have to work out new unit formations for our next battle. Hmm. You're pretty conscientious for a mercenary. That's rare in our profession. Well, sorry to cut and run. Good luck with all that. Na, wir freuen uns doch immer über Hilfe. If you're really sorry, you could always give me a hand sometime. It's my responsibility, but that doesn't mean I have to do it alone. Fair enough. Come find me next time I'm off duty. Really? <laughs> Thanks. Dependable as always, Shamir. Honestly, you're so mature for your age. Hm. Shamir ist doch auch gar nicht so jung, oder? 
You always seem so composed, almost wise, even when we're just chatting. I wouldn't say wise. Save that for the higher-ups. I just mind my own business. Plenty of mercenaries do the same. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. You know, you're pretty easygoing yourself, even by Merc standards. Have you been on your own for long? Didn't you belong to a mercenary group at some point? Yeah, but I bounced around a lot. Let's see, the company I was with the longest was... Probably Burling's Mercenaries, the last one I joined. But then we clashed with Gerald's band, and I was the only one who survived. There isn't a mercenary who hasn't lost someone or something along the way. The losing trusted comrades... stays with you. Yeah. Captain Burling, Getz, Lasley... We were a tight-knit group, if a little rough around the edges. I would have been content staying with them till the end. Maybe your experience is what's made you so pragmatic. It takes real strength to overcome past hardships and move on. That's what I think, anyway. You know, you seem way more pragmatic than me. I wonder what made you that way. You should know not to pry into a mercenary's past. But if the right moment comes, maybe I'll tell you about it. Und darauf freuen wir uns natürlich auch schon. Klar, das ist jetzt natürlich wieder das passende Gesprächsmaterial, das Söldnerleben in dem Fall. Da überschneidet sich das natürlich bei beiden. Trifft sich doch ganz gut. Also Flane hat ja kaum noch Supports, ne? das können wir eigentlich auch mitnehmen, ganz im Ernst. Ist nicht sogar der letzte, das ist doch jetzt schon der letzte. Da sind wir durch soweit, das ist der letzte Flane-Support, den wir haben. Na gut, dann machen wir den, ganz im Ernst. Bisschen schade fast, ne? So it's just... no? Not under any circumstances? It is not up for debate. This is for your own good flame. <sighs> hey, you okay, Flame? Why the long face? My brother has seen fit to forbid me from going out entirely. That doesn't sound unusual for him. But as long as he doesn't know, what's the harm, right? A fair point. But my brother truly is concerned for my safety. Perhaps... It does seem like the church has enemies all over the place these days. So, I don't know, I think I get where he's coming from. As you know, my brother and I have lived in remote and secluded places for a very long time. All we had was each other. Then we went to Garrick Mock and suddenly we were surrounded by all these people. I had hoped to make many friends and listen to their countless tales of all the places I hadn't been. But before I got to really know the people at the Officer's Academy... Everything went all topsy-turvy, and the Academy had to shut down. Do you remember when we went into town together to look at the latest fashions? Oh, that was so much fun. I was looking forward to going shopping together again, but perhaps I should just let the whole thing go. Oh, Flane. Gib nicht auf, genau. Don't give up so easily. We're just talking about a little outing here. Even that would prove tremendously difficult for me. With the church thrown into such chaos, my brother is in a near constant state of agitation. I must not trouble him further by making him worry about me as well. You're very kind to your brother, Flane. Just remember, it won't always be like this. You think so? Absolutely. Wars can't last forever, right? When this war ends and peace returns to Fodlan, taking a shopping trip will be no big deal. If that is so, then would you be willing to go into town with me again when that day comes? Of course. I'd be happy to keep you company. Or were you keeping me company? I forgot. <laughs> with that to look forward to, it should be no trouble to summon a little patience. Although... What is it? I'm not sure my brother will permit me to go somewhere with a man. Even when the war is over. If you tried to hide it and he found out later, it would be... Disastrous. That is correct. Are you ready for that? <lacht> das finde ich ja witzig. Ach komm, sei locker hier, kein Problem. It looks like I'll have to be. After all, it's a little late to start worrying about that now. Finde ich klasse. War auch ein schönes Ende für diese Support-Kette. Letzter Flame-Support, wie gesagt. Das ist wiederum etwas bedauerlich. Keine Ahnung, ob wir noch Charaktere bekommen. Es sind ja sowieso schon unfassbar viele einfach. <lacht> Echt stark. Okay, bei dir hätten wir noch einen A-Support. Du hast aber auch noch andere. Die würde ich da noch vorher mitnehmen. Also das skippe ich erstmal. Gucken wir mal. 
dass wir genau von euch vielleicht auch noch einiges sehen hier, ne? Genau, zum Beispiel... Ah, Konstanz und Linhardt, auch interessant. Ja gut, eine Konstellation, mit der wir jetzt noch gar nichts hatten. Und Linhardt hatten wir gar keinen Support bisher. Auch spannend. Ach, warte mal, von dir hatten wir dann auch gar keinen sogar, ne? Ja. Bist ja doch so frisch dabei, wir hatten nur deine Nebenmission. <lacht> Linhardt, you skipped the War Council Meeting again. If you have any pride at all as a noble, it would behoove you to start acting like one. I have pride. Some at least. But speaking of noble comportment, we both already betrayed the Empire. Is there any need to be overly focused on details? Das wäre übrigens jetzt auch nochmal ganz spannend zu wissen an der Stelle, weil ich kann mir vorstellen, also ich, ich vermute jetzt mal ganz stark, dass man ähm, auf Edelgards Seite sicherlich auch die beiden hat. Ist wahrscheinlich der Dialog wieder angepasst, ha? Denke ich mal. Wäre interessant, wenn ihr das irgendwie wisst, Leute. Wenn ihr das irgendwie schreiben könnt, das fände ich super interessant tatsächlich. Weil ich will ja auch noch alle Supports quasi zusammenfassen in einem Video. Und in solchen Fällen muss ich dann quasi unterscheiden zwischen der Route und dann halt hinschreiben, Linhard Konstanz, ähm, Löwen, Linhard Konstanz, ähm, Adler zum Beispiel. Ja, dass man die Unterschiede da auch sehen kann. Your tongue cuts like a thousand sharpened blades. Nonetheless, I did what was required for survival. My dream of regaining my family's status would be forever lost were I to perish. And I cannot permit such a thing to come to pass. All I do is for the sake of House Nouvelle's revival. That's lovely and all, but... It is not lovely. As the tale goes, House Nouvelle had passed down the crest of Macuel for many generations. Cease your endless yammering and listen to me. So I am forced to wonder why it is that you, a legitimate heir to the family, do not possess said crest. What's more, in its place you have the crest of Noah, who was one of the four apostles. Has your house stymied and deceived imperial investigations for generations? And if so, how? If you aren't going to listen to me, I refuse to even entertain answering that question. <sighs> well, I've grown tired of speaking, so we'll have to continue this another time. Good night. Wait, no, I'll answer you. Just don't treat me like dirt trodden underfoot. Then, by all means. Perhaps in the course of your explanation, something of use to House Nouvelle's restoration will crop up. I would like that very much. Well then, to be frank, it is said that Saint Noah is an ancestor of House Nouvelle. The Saint feared her crest, already rare even in her time, could prove a source of utter calamity. As such, she forged a magic that tricked Crest investigation devices and aided her descendants. Fascinating. And is there anything else regarding Saint Noah? Your disdain is palpable. Now, does any of that sound of use to restoring my house or not? I cannot say. I must hear the rest first. You realize it would be bothersome in the extreme if I told you everything and none of it was helpful, yes? If you wish to hear more, I must have a guarantee it will provide something I can use. <lacht> What a bother. <lacht> du sagst es, Linhard, du sagst es. Aber ist auch ganz interessant. Was stimmt mit dem Noah-Wappen? Haben sie ein Gerät entwickelt, ha? zur Täuschung? Spannend, was man da so alles erfährt. <lacht> so, und die haben ja eine gemeinsame Vergangenheit. <lacht> You were brilliant in the previous battle, Annette. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. It's an honor to be complimented by one of the School of Sorcery's most legendary alumni. I'm legendary now, am I? Well, I can't say I disagree. <laughs> I heard so many stories about you. Though I don't know how true any of them are. Like, there's one where you turned a bunch of bossy noble kids into horses, apparently. Oh, yes! I remember that spell. I titled it, Wherefore Winnies. <laughs> I was so overjoyed at having completed it that I began using it everywhere. And thus a tiny misunderstanding was born. <laughs> I also heard you were smart enough to argue magical theory with the teachers and win. Ugh, arguing is such a gauche way to put it. 
that these stories offer only a glimpse into who I am. Such trifling incidents are hardly worthy of the word legendary. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds like at least some of them actually happened, right? I never dreamed I'd be fighting beside as big a legend as you. It honestly makes me kind of nervous. No need for such modesty. After all, you yourself are among the most talented women in all the kingdom. Oh gosh, that's high praise. Did a teacher say it, maybe? No, I merely happened to read that book you wrote during your time there. Book? Oh, but no, 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 no. I mean, I'm not even sure I'd call that a book, so... Really, it was more like a collection of memos on how to bake Mercy's treats. Making magical morsels! <laughs> exactly! That book spoke to my very soul. The thought of using magic to simplify complicated cooking tasks was nothing short of revolutionary. Okay, but how did you get your hands on it? It was supposed to be private. I mean, I did give a teacher permission to present one of the spells, but... Combining ice and wind magic to make the outside soft while the inside stays crunchy? Oh, remarkable! It created a radical new movement of desserts that were softer, sweeter, and more divine than any which had come before. If you aren't proud of that, you can't be proud of anything. Though it is unfortunate the treats cannot be made without the use of the school's facilities. Well, it's not that I'm not proud, but it's also not like I wrote it all by myself either. I mean, sure, the magic was me, but Mercy is the one who taught me how to bake in the first place. Ah, Mercedes, I am well aware that her little delicacies are the finest in all Fodlin. Like those ones with pockets of sweet and butter mixed into the dough? I would kill for one of those right now. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. Is it a new creation? I must ask her to make it for me. Ahem. <laughs> In any case, I look forward to getting to know you better, Annette. I anticipate many lively theoretical discussions ahead. <lacht> Klasse. Den Support fand ich auch super stark. Der war ganz amüsant gestaltet. Und das ist ja jetzt auch nicht abwegig. Ich meine tatsächlich, ich meine in so einer Fantasy-Welt, äh, wenn das noch nicht etabliert ist, dass man mit Magie kocht, ist das natürlich mega gut. <lacht> Klar. Da kann man sich austoben wahrscheinlich, ja. Wer würde das nicht gerne tun? Ein bisschen rumzaubern, hast du gutes Essen, also... Count mir. Machen wir weiter mit dem C-Support hier. Needless to say, that is the only logical course of action. Uh, excuse me, are you even listening? <lacht> nein, einfach nur, äh, klar. So einfach nein. Uh, sorry, I got distracted and missed the last part. Something about your plan to restore House Nouvelle? That was where the conversation started. Clearly you have not listened to a single word I've said. Creating new magic, charting unknown sorcery waters. Therein lies the means to make my dream a reality. To that end, I have decided that you will make a most fitting test subject for my research. <laughs> no thanks. What reason could you possibly have to refuse? Do you not want the honor of helping House Nouvelle regain its former glory? I don't mind lending a hand, but I'm not so keen on being a test subject. You don't even know what'll happen. Wouldn't it make sense to experiment on yourself first? Huh, a rather astute deduction for one such as yourself. However, there is one critical flaw in your reasoning. Were I to do as you propose, I would be unable to properly observe the results with my own eyes. <laughs> well then, you'll just have to be patient until someone volunteers. We'd have a big problem on our hands if something happened to me before the next battle, right? Actually, that probably goes for everyone. I suppose you are correct. But then, my research has reached an impasse. Hmm, I guess so. Okay, how about this? Since we're at war, why not try and distinguish yourself in battle? You could still conduct your research at the same time. Combat's more my wheelhouse anyway. In fact, we could even start right now with some training. What do you say? Uh, I respectfully decline. While I am not entirely opposed to the idea of military prestige, I am unable to accompany you at this time. Training at night will surely suffice. At night? But you won't have enough time if you don't train during the day. You're not planning on pulling all-nighters, are you? Oh, 
Please, I am not that foolish. I simply do not wish to train at this very moment. Mit Logik überzeugen, ermutigen, es dabei belassen. So, Logik funktioniert bei Konstanz wahrscheinlich am besten. If you work out at night, that means you're going to bed right after. That's going to reduce the quality of your sleep. You'll wake up sluggish the next morning, which will drag you down all day. It'll turn into a vicious cycle. See what I mean? My, I never expected you to put forth such an eloquent counter argument. Be that as it may, I have my reasons. Reasons that I, unfortunately, cannot ignore. Nevertheless, I shall succeed in all my endeavors, be they magical or military, and I shall do it all in my own way. <lacht> Diese Lache immer, das ist schon klasse. Das hat ja schon fast ein bisschen was beängstigend, das stellenweise. Oh Gott, Baltus und Lorenz. Na gut, okay. Hey, just the guy I wanted to see. Ah, Balthus. Do you need me? Yep. Got some hush-hush stuff I want to talk to you about. So let's go somewhere private. Goodness, whatever could it be? It must be serious if we need to discuss it in a private setting. So, what do you know about the Claude investigation? I fear I have no idea what you are talking about. Did this request come from my father, perchance? Yeah, I figured you might be in the dark. Indeed, this is the first I have heard of it. Though I believe he may have spoken to me once regarding something similar. Still, I am surprised he would ask such a thing of you. Also, how do you even know my father? You know I've borrowed a lot of money from all kinds of folks, right? Well, your pops is on that list. I'm as broke as can be, so he put me to work to pay it back. That's how I ended up looking into Claude. I think that was around the time I decided to hide under Garrick Mock. I am relieved to hear you know him for surprisingly normal reasons. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Still, I wonder why my father would lend money to a base mercenary such as yourself. Just gonna ignore that last part, huh? Now I know where the phrase like father like son comes from. Anyway, I'll answer your question. I may not look it, but I actually used to be a noble. You, a noble? Pray, keep your jests in check, sir. No joke. The full name's Balthus von Albrecht. I'm surprised you didn't know. Claude and Hilda both did. Does this mean you have connections with Lord Holst? Yeah, we're old buddies. I was the heir to my house too, so we got to see each other a lot. An heir? Goodness me, I apologize for my ignorance. To think a boorish man so lacking in honor and grace would be a noble. Hey, easy. I'll have you know I was actually the lord of the house. It wasn't till after I inherited the title that I left. Such a thought staggers the imagination, but I will accept it for the time being. And I feel I now understand your relationship to my father. You just sort of say whatever pops into your head, don't you? Still, you better think twice about that brutal honesty of yours. Especially since you're the Count now. You may be right. Thank you for the counsel. Okay, höchst faszinierend. Da bin ich jetzt doch sehr gespannt auf den zweiten Support wiederum. Was man da auch wieder über Baltus erfährt. Hm. Interessant, interessant. Okay, hier haben wir wieder einen A-Support. Hier werden wir, wie gesagt, erstmal weiter skippen. Bei Marianne ist es schon kurz vor dem A-Support. Aber wir haben auch noch einen B-Support. I'm so sorry I can't let you run free. We'll go for another walk together soon, alright? <gasps> Why so guarded, Marianne? Is that how you always greet beautiful men? Yuri, what do you want? Oh, nothing in particular. I simply spotted you on the way back from drills and felt like coming over to see what you were doing. I feel like you never leave these stables. Did you ever grow tired of it? I'm sorry. It's merely a question. I'm not trying to judge you or anything. Well, this is going poorly already. All I wanted was to make a little small talk and it ended up like... this. Are you always this gloomy? It seems you speak just fine around everyone else. I only know how to make small talk about animals. And you seem to hate them. 
So, um, I figured that no matter what I talked about, you would hate it, and... me. Hold on. Why would I hate you? And when have I ever said I hate animals? Once, when I was replacing the horse's hay, I saw you glaring at me from a distance. But if you don't hate animals, then it must be me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sour your mood further. I'll be gone soon anyway. Uh, um, look, Marianne. Allow me to clear everything up for you. Firstly, I don't despise animals. I actually like them. Understand? Yes, I'm sorry. Don't apologize, or I'll have to repeat myself forever. Just listen. Second, I don't hate you or even think poorly of you. Although I'll admit that I was somewhat annoyed with you earlier in this conversation. So... Um... Then why were you glaring at me before? I'm not sure. Perhaps you saw it wrong? I don't know when this was, but... Wait. <laughs> I think I see now. I have a... condition of sorts. One that can get aggravated under certain circumstances. I knew it. My very presence had aggravated you. I'm telling you, that's not it! I swear by the goddess herself that it's not your fault. No, you don't know what I have. Excuse me. Well, that got us absolutely nowhere. <sighs> Conversing with the shady lady is almost pleasant in comparison. Hmm. What did she mean when she said she'd be gone soon? That's a little too ominous to ignore. Oh yeah, Yuri, that's right. Okay, the support was <laughs> ganz amüsant irgendwie. Etwas typisch, aber. Was meint Yuri überhaupt mit der Dame des Zwielichts? Das äh, ist mir auch etwas suspekt, aber nun gut. Viele Fragen. Wir haben ja noch einen weiteren Support, der wahrscheinlich auch sehr bald äh, vorhanden sein wird. Na gut, okay. Jetzt kann er noch mit Ash ein bisschen reden. Here you go, Carly. As promised. Hm. This feels a little light. You run into trouble moving the merchandise? Eh, uh, sure did. With all the fighting lately, even the noble folk are getting real selective about who they do business with. Well, nothing to be done for that. Our competitors certainly won't back down, so we can't afford to either. I'll think of something. Might involve crossing a dangerous bridge or three, but we'll work it out. I'm pretty sure he went... Huh? Yuri? Well, if it isn't Ash. You seem out of breath. Am I really so charming? Did you see someone suspicious come this way? I was chasing them down, but I lost them. Ah, you must be referring to my lackey. Your lackey? Wait, what is that you're holding? Oh, just various proceeds from this and that. But I'll not say more. Especially not in front of a royal knight like you. Dirty money, is it? Coin is coin. Whatever grime it may bear always washes clean in the end. You know, I've been biting my tongue on this for a while, but I don't think it's right to earn money the way you do. You're so much smarter than me. You could do anything if you put your mind to it. There's no need to resort to cheating and hurting people to turn a profit. Are you seriously trying to lecture the Lord of the Underworld? Oh, that's adorable. No one makes it through this life with clean hands. You should know that better than anyone. Sometimes you have to resort to just the most terrible things imaginable in order to feed your family. Am I right? How do you know about my past? I've never told anyone. No, oh, I don't know. Perhaps I heard it from Count Roe. Or maybe even Lord Lenato. The sins we commit follow us until our dying day, my friend. I know that. But even so... Well, I'm a bit busy, so you work that out while I walk away. Bye then. Yuri. No, I won't turn my back on you. Uh, das war ja eine richtige Herausforderung schon. Ich mag ja erst starken Gerechtigkeit, sind eigentlich ganz gerne. Er stellt als Charakter ist mir ja auch relativ sympathisch. Yuri ist aber auch ziemlich interessant. 
aber sehr gegensätzliche Charaktere. Das stimmt, da prallen wirklich Gegensätze ein bisschen aufeinander. Ha. Marianne und Ingrid, Marianne und Bernie. Aber es ist mit Bernie ist auch wieder ein support Deswegen machen wir den an einer anderen Stelle. Aber den Support nehmen wir mal mit. Oh dear. She left some of her feet again today. Ah. She might even be sick. But what do I do if she is? Um, you should give her hay instead of feed. Oh, Marianne, I didn't notice you there. Wait, what's wrong with feed? Oats aren't enough. For a horse, I mean. Not enough nutritional value. Hmm. I suppose I have been giving her a good amount of oats recently. Is that really what's making her unwell? Um, yes. Probably. In that case, I'll find some hay for her right away. Thanks for the advice. You sure know a lot. Oh, no. Not at all. There's no need to be humble when you clearly know so much. Speaking of which, would you mind if I asked you some other questions? No, um, I should have minded my own. Uh, please excuse me. Hey, wait! There's so much I want to ask! <sighs> What do I do? I only brought her on the battlefield once. Now she refuses to take even a single step. I think, um, she's scared. What? Really? I can try to calm her down, but I don't know. Easy, girl. Easy. I know that was scary, but you're safe now. Shh. <gasps> Amazing! She's walking again! She said she hates the stench of blood on the battlefield. And that's why she didn't want to move. Oh, well that makes sense. Wait, did you just talk to my horse? Yes, well, I mean, sort of. I just kind of understand. But that's incredible. How do you do that? And can you teach me? It's really just, I mean, um, I sort of imagine what they're thinking based on little movements or... I'm sorry, I'm not helpful. I should go. Not helpful? This is the second time you've helped me and her both. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself, Marianne. Have a little confidence in your abilities. Please excuse me. Wait, I didn't even get to thank you. Ja, das ist auch ein Kontrastprogramm, was? Klar, überschneidet sich. Ach so, das, da haben wir dann sogar zwei Supports. Stimmt, das ist ja C und B. Okay. <lacht> Stark. Ja klar, Ingrid ist natürlich extrem selbstbewusst im Vergleich wiederum. Ich glaube, ich spanne mir dann auch erstmal auf. Ich gucke halt einfach, dass wir zwar schon viel unterbekommen. Ich will halt immer nichts verpassen. Das ist immer noch so das, was mir am wichtigsten ist. Machen wir mal hier weiter. Aber den Support fand ich auch sehr gut, muss ich sagen. Sorry about earlier, Ignaz. I wasn't much help at all. No, it's fine. You actually did a lot. If anything, your stories of Gustav just helped to confirm what I was thinking. That you're not cut out to be a knight? Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> exactly. You're pretty sharp, Annette. Well, since I'm the one that brought on this misunderstanding, I'd better clear it up. What misunderstanding? Look, my father is clearly an incredible knight, and everyone knows it. But if everyone was a knight just like him, we'd still end up losing every war we fought. Don't let looks fool you. He's sloppy when it comes to taking care of himself. Also, he can be stubborn as a mule, and he's a complete worrywart to boot. But he's maybe the best fighter in the land, and isn't that what a knight's job entails? Not necessarily. The thing is, there are all kinds of different people who report to my father, and most are excellent fighters, sure. But then there are others who can barely even ride a horse, yet my father relies on them all the same. But how can he rely on a knight who can't fight? Because they have other skills. For example, a handful of his reports know absolutely everything about cooking and ingredients. Imagine they're under attack and rations are running low. Those people tell the others what ingredients to gather and use them to make food, which allows everyone to fight another day. Which is how they gain his trust. 
Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and it's a commanding officer's job to know what those are and give orders accordingly. And sure, all of this comes secondhand from my father, but I also know it's true. So, I don't think there's any reason for you to be so pessimistic. Charging directly into the gut of the enemy's main force isn't the only way for a knight to be useful. So, you really think I'm still helping in some way? Absolutely. Maybe it's your skill in painting, or your knowledge about works of art, or how you have a lot of strengths. And it would be a real pity to bury them all under an avalanche of, I'm not cut out for this kind of thing. You know what? You're right. There are all kinds of different people in our army. And in that case, I think I'll keep trying to be a better knight. I'm so glad to hear that. This was really weighing on me, so I couldn't just let it go. And hey, you know how I always make a mess of things the second I lose my focus? Well, I used to get really worried about that for the same reason as you. I thought I was holding everyone back. Really? But you help us all the time, Annette. I mean, if not for you cheering me up, I probably would have resigned from my knighthood. Oh, that makes me so happy, Ignatz. I'm really glad I could help. I know we both have our own sets of worries to deal with, but we'll just keep working hard together. And I know I can work harder if I'm with you. Oha. Er wird einfach mal hart geschippt, ich sehe schon. <lacht> Wahnsinn. Okay. Ja, ich meine, Ignaz hat eine gute Beobachtungsgabe, die wird sicherlich sehr nützlich sein, klar. Interessant, was äh, Annette jetzt alles erzählt hat. Hat sie einiges mitgenommen von Gustav, ja? von früher. Spannend, spannend. Na gut, machen wir weiter. Ah. Mm. Oh, hey Ignaz, what you reading? Wow. Ja, yeah, he definitely didn't hear me. Hey, Ignatz! Huh, what? Oh, it's you. Can you please try to not sneak up on me like that? I'm sorry about that. I was trying to talk to you, but it didn't seem like anything was getting through. <lacht> das waren interessante Geräusche, denke ich mir auch irgendwie so. Da war auch bitte schon solche Geräusche beim Lesen. You were making all kinds of weird noises while you were reading. <lacht> you eat something bad? No, nothing like that. It's just that this traveler's journal is full of such vivid imagery and wonderful surprises that I can't help but react. You've seriously been lugging books around with you? Though I admit, that does sound like a good one. Yes, it's fascinating. The author's unknown, but whoever it was really traveled to all these places and documented everything. It's amazing how vastly things can differ depending on where you are. Like the plants or the animals or even the ore in the ground. And of course the way people live in those areas is so diverse too. Like their food and their clothes. But what's most interesting to me is the architecture. Ruins in Fodlin contain ancient architectural styles that are for some reason also found on faraway islands. All right, all right, I get the picture. You talk like you've seen it all firsthand. <laughs> well, I really try to place myself in the author's shoes when I read. So I guess in a way, I have. I'd love to visit all those places myself, but that's easier said than done. Especially since I became a knight. Hmm. Ja gut, das weiß man doch mehr oder weniger schon. Das obere. Bei unzufrieden. Er ist eher zu wenig selbstbewusst, aber gut. I mean, it's not like I regret becoming a knight or anything. I wasn't gonna ask, but all right, as long as you're happy. At any rate, both my father and my brother are pleased that it's official. Sounds to me like you became a knight for them. That's not it at all. I'm very happy with my decision, honest. Even though you can't go off traveling? Yeah, getting sent out to different locations for battle is kind of the same thing. Oh, but of course the mission always comes first. It's not like I go off wandering whenever I feel the urge. Uh-huh. But you would if you could, right? Why do you keep asking me about this? All these leading questions, they're, they're uncalled for. I might not be able to travel of my own volition, but I can read books and go wherever I want in my imagination. And that's good enough for me. Ja, das hatte ich jetzt auch ein bisschen 
komisch, ehrlich gesagt. Da konnte ich mich jetzt mit unserem Protagonisten nicht so ganz identifizieren an der Stelle. Dieses Nachgeborene, was dann in Ignaz auch nicht passt, finde ich eigentlich nicht in Ordnung an der Stelle. Muss man dann auch nicht machen. Wenn es den Leuten unangenehm ist, dann lass sie doch bitte in Ruhe. Oh mein Gott. Also Raphael und Ignaz. Ja, Klassiker. Gut, Raphael Supports, was haben wir schon zu erwarten? Es geht wahrscheinlich eh wieder um Essen und Muskeln und... <lacht> wir werden sehen. Hey, I was wondering if I could ask you something. I heard that you don't have any parents. Is that right? Yeah, the woman who raised me died and I don't even know who my birth parents are. That must be tough for you, huh? Belastet das ihn dann? Ich glaube ein bisschen schon. I don't really feel sad about it or anything, but I do think about my birth parents sometimes. It can weigh on me, not knowing who I really am. You know? Well, you might not know who you are, but you still work hard and you keep your chin up through it all. That makes you super strong in my book. Hey, Raphael, your parents are gone too, right? Yeah, both my mom and pa died in an accident. Well, then you're just as strong as I am. You work harder than anyone I know, and you do it all with the biggest grin in the world. Of course. It's easy when you love training as much as I do. Hey, I just realized something. We've sure got a lot in common. Our parents aren't with us anymore. We're both commoners scraping our way through this war, and most importantly... What can be more important than that? Both of us have got some serious brawn. I appreciate that, but our body types are completely different. Not sure this really counts as brawn. <laughs> sure, you're a little scrawnier than me, and maybe a lot smarter. But you know, my brain's been getting a constant workout ever since we opened the inn. You have an inn? Oh, yeah. I went home and started one up with my grandpa and little sis once the academy shut down. Running a business like that takes a surprising amount of muscle. Sure, there's regular stuff like hauling things around, but you need brain power too. If you ever want to make a profit, you have to pay real close attention to keeping the books straight. I mostly let my sis handle that stuff though. That muscle still needs more work for me, which means I'm in charge of the cooking. But that has its own share of problems. Yeah, it can be tough to find your footing when you switch jobs. Especially if you have to start doing things outside your wheelhouse. Trust me, I've had my fair share of growing pains getting used to the army life. Every But don't you just fight? That doesn't seem so different to me. As a mercenary, the only thing you're responsible for is yourself. Show up and do the job right and you'll get your pay. But having soldiers to command, people I'm in charge of beyond just myself, that's a huge change for me. And there's way more to military work than just plain combat. Stuff like managing resources, making sure everyone has the weapons and armor they need. I don't think I'm bad at math per se, but it's definitely not something I'm used to doing. And the more stuff there is to keep track of, the harder it all gets. Hey, you're not so good at using your brain either. We're practically twins. That makes us pals now, right? I've got your back. So you just keep on working hard, buddy. Right back at you. Let's keep fighting the good fight. Okay, gut. War doch ein relativ klassischer Raphael-Support. Nicht super hohl, aber... Naja. <lacht> ah ja, genau. Das war ein A-Support bei Bernie. Ich gehe das nur mal ganz kurz ein bisschen durch. Bei Linnard haben wir halt einen C-Support. Den sollten wir auf jeden Fall machen. Nur mal kurz prüfen, wie viel wir überhaupt noch haben. Hier haben wir nur A-Supports ne, bei Rodrigue. Das ähm, fällt also erstmal noch raus. Hier haben wir auch nur noch A-Supports. Na naja, gut, dann ist das ja wahrscheinlich gar nicht mehr so viel. Ne? Ich überlege gerade, ob wir das jetzt noch unterbringen oder nicht. A-Support. A-Support. Und wahrscheinlich noch ein bisschen mehr A-Supporter. Hier mit Ash ist ein A-Support. Jo, das sieht wirklich so aus, als hätten wir da nur noch A-Supports aktuell. Gut. Wenn das so ist, dann würde ich sagen, bringen wir die anderen jetzt noch unter. Ja. Das läuft alles auf A-Supports raus, so wie es aussieht. Oder wir... Ja, wir können auch in den nächsten Part nochmal mit Supports einsteigen, weil wir für die Hauptmission aktuell eigentlich eh immer nicht so lange brauchen. Glaube ich, kriegen wir das auch ganz gut unter. Dann mache ich das, glaube ich, so genau. Ja, dann nehmen wir den Linhardt-Support noch mit. 
Und es war noch ein Marianne Support einfach nur, oder? Der andere. Insofern, genau, das war hier der B-Support noch, ja. Und ansonsten haben wir, glaube ich, eh nur noch A-Supports. Dann passt das. Dann machen wir halt einfach zwei Supports, Leute. Zwei Supports als Einstieg für den nächsten Part. Dann die Hauptmission und dann geht's weiter. Finde ich ganz gut. Das machen wir so. Ja, dann, genau, kriegen wir doch einiges unter. Oh, den S-Rang sollte wir hier unbedingt schnappen. Das ist schon sehr verlockend in dem Fall. Also gut, Leute. Bis zum nächsten Part.